Many modern schemes use differential transmission of high-speed signals. When creating differential pairs, they must be customized accordingly for the project. In the schematic, differential pairs are defined by placing a differential pair directive on each connection of a given pair. When placing net labels, be sure to use the correct naming convention. The differential pair net name should be a common name followed by an underscore P or N. The shared part of the name becomes the name of the differential pair in the PCB editor, and the letters N and P designate the negative and positive components of the pair. Accessing the differential pair command is possible through the Quick Access panel and the Place Directives menu. Additionally, you can activate this menu with the keyboard shortcut PVF. It should be noted that placing a differential pair directive on an object using a blanket is equal to placing a set of directives on each of the nets included in the blanket object's area. Thus, it is possible to find a set of differential pairs with the help of one directive. Pay attention to your project settings. In the Comparator tab, under the Differences associated with Nets section, the extra differential pair parameter should be set to Find Differences. And in the ECO Generation tab, in the Modifications associated with Nets section, the Add Differential Pair parameter should be set to Generate Change Orders. So when sending changes to the PCB editor, the system will monitor the presence of differential pairs in the project's nets and transmit the changes from the circuit schematic to the board. Once the differential pairs have been assigned to the schematic, these parameters should be passed to the PCB editor in the standard way. The Engineering Change Order window will display a list of the differential pairs to be created after pressing the Execute Changes button, and the changes will be applied. Now that differential pairs exist as objects for routing in the PCB editor, you can take advantage of all the features of these specialized tools. So now we know how to transfer schematic differential pair directives to the PCB. Thanks for watching.